Conley. I live in South Lake Harbor, right down um, 50. And I'm here meeting my friend Liz at the Cupcake Place. And they're delicious. And it's a great place. We get to sit outside and talk and meet and have some delicious cupcakes, which my kids love. We're going to go back inside and get more cupcakes to bring them home. Um, the downtown here, I really like. I'm hoping that they get to do more here. Um, it's a great place to see people. We've gotten to meet friends and meet new people while for the hour we've been here. So I hope they do more. Hi, I'm Reverend Jeannie Manson. I'm the pastor at St. John's United Church of Christ here in Lake Harbor City. Several months ago, we began doing a thing called Tap Room Theology. And there's a couple of reasons for doing it. The first reason is it's really clear to most churches that we're missing people that we would expect to be at church, partly because the church, in the regular sense of how we think of church, doesn't really speak to their condition. It's kind of a 15th century um, technology for 21st century people. And also I think a lot of times people feel they're going to be judged. And, um, as a leader in the Christian faith, that was something that Jesus didn't even know. <laughs> Although ultimately, you know, that is who we would believe would, I suppose, judge us. But he was known to eat and dwell with all sorts of people just anywhere, and he wasn't trying to stick in the mud as a well. so, um, so the idea isn't a new one, and it's not my idea. It's been on the go for probably 25 years or so. We started at the Catholic Church, and I believe it was called Theology on the Path. They have a curriculum. We don't have a curriculum. What we do is we try to invite anybody to whichever pub we can meet at, and we usually have a topic that matters to everybody. Like, you know, it's hard to believe in God when a baby dies. So we'll ask things like, you know, why, why do bad things happen to, to good people? And, and it's just a discussion, obviously through a lens of Christianity, but we have all sorts of people of different faiths come and share what their tradition is, or people that are just seeking and searching and they share what their views are, all of which are like so totally valid. And it's just an extension of what we feel we need to bring to this community, which isn't necessarily proselytizing our views, but just being there to be able to listen to folks when they're in a place where they're confused for free. And what better place than just somewhere in a bar? So we've been to um, we've been to the diner, the Harbor City Diner. And we've been to uh, Mario's. We've been to uh, Spanish Eyes. And we've been here at the Avenue. Um, we've also been at the Dubliner in, in Galloway um, when it was convenient for some people to be there. Um, and the idea is to stay in Egg Harbor City and, and be a weekly presence of an option of intelligent thought where there's no real answers but just a community of people who are questioning together. And it's been, it's been successful and a lot of friendships have been made and it's, it's a privilege for me to, to get to do this for the community I serve. So. And we meet Wednesday nights at 7. Check the Facebook page of St. John's United Church of Christ on Wednesday morning to find out where we'll be meeting and what they're talking about.